I'm trying to have an open mind about this game. I'm trying. I'm hearing some good, hearing some bad. Like this article here doesn't look so good, man. Doesn't look so good for Ubisoft. The good I'm hearing. Open world is amazing. Apparently, it's, it's like this large, really robust open world uh, that it plays a lot like Division 2 or Uncharted 4. So that's good. Those games were cool. That your, your choices matter. The, the things with the syndicates and things like that and the relationships and balancing out which syndicate or which faction that you're, you're helping or not helping as much or fighting against or fighting with. That's cool. The wanted feature in, in the game is cool. But when I read stuff like this, man, it just... It makes me think, like, Ubisoft basically has gotten caught. They, they got caught bribing, bribing creators, basically. This, this is what this is, is a bribe. Like, I get it. I, 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 I'm in a creator. I'm a, I'm a creator with EA. So they do try to take care of you when they, when they send you to places. And you kind of expect that as a creator. If they're going to send you somewhere to cover something, you're kind of hoping for some cool stuff, right? But this seems like almost like buttering up YouTubers and influencers, and uh, I, I don't really know what to think about it. I'm trying to be optimistic, guys, but this this is, it's not looking good, you know? And, you know, I, I wasn't invited to any of this, you know, I, I, I get it, you know, maybe because I don't sip on the Kool-Aid, I don't know. This doesn't look well for, uh, for the game and for Ubisoft. A new investigation into Ubisoft's marketing campaign for Star Wars Outlaws reveals the company buttered up YouTubers and influencers with trips to Disneyland, boat tours, before giving them access to four hour, oh my gosh. So it wasn't just like, hey, we're gonna treat you to Disneyland while you're here in LA. We're, we're just gonna butter you up first before you can even play any of this. Like that's, that's like psychological marketing, man. I mean, it's really smart by them, but it's also shady, dude. Like that's that's basically bribing. Like let me let me give you a bunch of cool stuff so that you'll be more open to telling good things about my game, even if you don't quite feel that way. German YouTuber Cyberpunk 20XX discovered multiple YouTubers and influencers revealed how they were actually influenced by Ubisoft. As part of the company's largest marketing campaign ever. Wow, dude. So it's in this guy's... We may have to watch this and see what happens, man. It looks like it's all in German, so I don't, I, I don't really know if we can, we can do that. But yeah. Re revealed that the company is rolling out its largest marketing campaign ever, ever for Star Wars Outlaws. Probably because the game is just not doing well. Like, it's getting killed because of its pricing. It's getting killed because... Look at this character. I mean, I'm just being honest, man. She looks... Not pretty. And the thing that's sad is the actor for her is gorgeous. So it's like, what happened to Aiden Versio look, man? I mean, look, 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 look at the difference in that, man. Look at the, look at the difference in this. Here's Aiden. Like what, what is up with that, dude? If you're buttering up your, your influencers before they even have access to the game, that's telling you something. I don't know. Which, I mean, I, I have been flown out by EA to, to EA Play before, and that was really cool. They didn't really do too much other than to say, hey, we're, you're going to have your own lounge. You're going to get gameplay. You're going to have time to do that. If you want to do a couple other things, you can do that. We also had some really fun stuff that we got to do that I can't really talk about because it's under NDA. But it wasn't something like this. Like this, this is interesting. Uh, and I can definitely confirm this as part. I was invited Ubisoft to come to Los Angeles to play the event. The location was really uh, polished up, and there was a day at Disneyland or something like that. So Ubisoft spent a lot on it. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of... I think if you're in L.A., you should at least go to Disney and see, like, Star all the Star Wars stuff. That's kind of, like, a given that if, if I'm an influencer and I'm flown out there, I'm probably going to want to go see that by myself anyway. So it's kind of cool that Ubisoft did that. But the fact that they did that before they even got to play the game, a little sus. She was taken on a boat tour. And it was a whale tour to see if they could spot any whales. What? They flew me out to California to play Outlaws, interview the game director, which I saw. Some of my friends on YouTube, I've seen them get to interview some of the, the lead writer and director, which that is cool. That's a cool thing, right? Like, like, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, this is... 
So most of everything that we're seeing here is basically just YouTubers and influencers that this, this is part of their marketing ploy, which is they're going to, they're going to invite people out there just because they want people talking about the game on social media and on YouTube to get more people to potentially buy the game. Right? So that's not like a bad thing, but like doing all the stuff before they could even play that does kind of sound like they're bribing them and that they got caught bribing them. They built a lightsaber at galaxy's edge. Dude, those things are like five or six hundred bucks, man. Like that that is not some chump change. Jeez. She denied being paid by you. Well, that's what it is. You basically got paid to promote the game. They wouldn't fly you out there if they didn't want you to promote the game. That's what influencer that's what influencers do, right? They will fly you out, give you all these cool things, because in a way, they're giving you compensation to say, hey, and you know, it wouldn't hurt if you say something good about our game. They're not going to specifically come out and say, hey, you should probably say something positive about our game, but they're trying to butter you up to do that. Like, that's kind of part of the game, right? I was given the opportunity to record content. However, I was fully my own choice to make and share content based on it. The only money I made from this content is from YouTube views. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Why would, why would you have to point that out if it didn't seem kind of shady? Of note, this investigation follows the wake of German YouTuber. Okay, he had 2 million subscribers to admit he removed his Outlaws preview, and the video itself was subject to review process from a third party. Okay. In the post, he shared he removed their video from the channel, not because we wanted to sweep anything under the carpet or anything, because it should never be published and we didn't want it on the channel. See, that's that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. To me, it's like saying, hey, I got paid to do this. Which, I mean, if you did, look, look, there's nothing fine with their YouTuber hustling and getting into developers and studios and getting paid to promote things, right? But what you should do beforehand is say, hey, I was paid to do this. Like you give a disclaimer, right? Like it's like, it's like, hey, go buy my Amazon affiliate stuff. It's not my stuff. It's an affiliate link. You have to let people know that beforehand. So like, that's the thing. If they really did get paid to go and do this and give favorable reviews, they should just say, hey, I was paid. Thanks for sponsoring this video. That's what that's I mean, that's so as a EA creator, that's basically what we do. If we get a, co a code or something like that, part of the arrangement is we have to say that it was sponsored or provided by EA. So they would have to do the same thing with Ubisoft unless they were just flying people out there and hoping maybe they'd give them good reviews by buttering them up. Either way, it doesn't look good for Ubisoft. But since I personally thought the game was really cool, I don't see a big problem. Yeah. They, they spent all this money, this lavished amounts of money on YouTubers. Think about it. A, an international flight, hotel, food, a boat trip, Disneyland, and then lightsabers from Disneyland. That is quite a bit of money. And even though it may have been with good intentions and their marketing may have been, let's pull in influencers to get people talking about the game to purchase it. It doesn't sound like it was done in a way that was very clear. And it sounds like bribery. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe or we will execute Order 66. Order Check out 66. our other videos on the screen as well. Yes, my lord. Whoa.